Why do people choose to support a nonprofit? They choose to support nonprofit organizations for the same reason that they make consumer decisions, what they'll buy, for the same reason that they form relationships, who they choose to spend their time with. They do this because it provides them with satisfaction. And if you think about satisfaction, it's based on what motivates somebody. What is it that guides their behavior? It has to do with their values. There's a system called VALS, Values and Lifestyle Segmentation, that takes into account a number of different things that make up who a person truly is and it helps you understand how they might respond to messages that you choose to share with them. It's based on values. Values. Where do we get our values? Where do we learn our values? We learn them from our family. We learn them in church. We, we learn our values in school and, and with our friends and the media we consume and, and the places we travel in the world. All of those values come together to help us determine what will bring us satisfaction. And we can refine these three points of psychological motivation in, um, in, in key areas. And if you understand what motivates someone, you can predict behavior. And if you can predict behavior, you can guide behavior. It'll help you better understand how to, how to create compelling messages to speak to your donors, to speak to your funders. So these three principal motivations um, are the principal or ideal motivated donor, the status or achievement motivated donor, and the action or emotion motivated donor. And so if we start with the first, ask yourself if who I describe is potentially one of your donors. And if so, keep in mind what will motivate them to give, why they care about your organization in the first place, and why they will be motivated to participate. So let's take that first one principal or ideal motivated individuals. These are folks who have deeply learned and literally interpreted intellectual and moral codes. They, um, they will respond strongest to those responsible organizations, those that can demonstrate facts and figures and show the impact. The, they understand what is the right thing to do. That's how they'll make their decisions. They'll ask themselves, is this the right thing to do? Is this the good thing to do? And if the answer is yes, the principal motivated individual will support you for that because it is the right thing to do. The second is status or achievement motivated individuals. These individuals are going to be more role conscious. They will have a tendency to be more aware and, um, and find greater importance as to what their role is in society, what their role is in work, in their social circles, in their family. And if our principal or ideal motivated consumers, our donors, make those decisions based on what is good, our status or achievement motivated donors will make their decisions based on what looks good or what looks right. And that third group, the action or emotion motivated individuals. If principal and ideal make their decisions based on what is good, if status and achievement make their decisions based on what looks good, what do you think? Action or emotion? You're right. It's what feels good. These are people who want to have a tangible impact. They want to get their hands dirty in your cause. They want to participate. They want to be a part of an action or they want to show up for an event that you're putting on. And if you think about these three different types, think about your donors. Which one is the largest group of your donors? Which represents the largest group of those people who do support your organization? Because the manner in which you message to them Regardless of the channel you choose, whether it's traditional media or a traditional direct mail campaign or, or social campaigns or online, the channel doesn't matter, but the message is vitally important. And what will motivate each of these types is going to be different. But if you can learn to communicate with them, you will have much greater levels of support. They will be far happier with their experience with you, and they will continue to contribute and be a part of your organization and a part of your support for years to come.